Hi, welcome to this week's Wisdom Wednesday. Hi everybody, Mami Chadri from Optimum Performance Solutions here, bringing you a very special Wisdom Wednesday this week because my mum, Anoop Chadri, is in it. Hi. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us, mum. The reason I brought my mum on is a couple of things. Thank you, first of all, for all of you who reached out to congratulate me on my senior certification. Some of you have seen my posts, my videos, and have reached out, and thank you for that. Now, I also did have a few messages that, um, from clients, friends, family, saying, your life must be amazing, mummy. You know, you're doing so well, everything's going great for you. So, so that you don't get infatuated with my life, thinking I've got it great, I wanted to bring a few home truths for you. Now, during my senior certification, um, our family were going through quite a challenging time. Uh, Mum, would you like to share, just a, in a few mo- lines, what was going on for us? You know, when uh, uh, Manmeet went for her uh, certification, uh, just after she had uh, done facilitation for Dr. John D. Martini, the next day I was uh, taken to the hospital on Monday for uh, my swollen feet and uh, it was it was really painful so i had to go to the hospital so she was admitted just a few days before i was about to go for my senior certification something really important to me that i've been working very hard towards and i was at a crossroads and it was well my mom's a high value to me and so is the senior certification um, and I was there trying to decide between the two and whether I should do the course and go ahead with that um, and just go for senior certification maybe next year. So I asked my mum and I said to her, Mum, should I not go to the course and be here with you? And what was your answer to me? Why don't you share? Oh, I told, uh, I told you that uh, doing your uh, senior certification is more valuable than coming to the hospital to see me because it wasn't that serious. So I decided that uh, you must go ahead with your values and you must go and do your senior certification with John. And uh, so there wasn't much need for you to come to the hospital because then when you were not there, Paul was coming to see me and uh, that gap was filled by him. Uh, uh, that's Paul, my brother, uh, who was there at the time too. And what was the, how was it for you when you had to deal with the fact that, you know, other people are saying to you, you know, your daughter really should be here for you, you know, you're in hospital, she should be putting you first. Obviously that's injected priorities from other people. Uh, how was that for you? No, I, I just ignored it because I know that uh, going to the uh, John's uh, program is much more important to you than coming to the hospital. And I I wasn't that bad. So uh, when Paul Chaudhary came to see me, uh, I thought uh, that was more than enough. One of the children is coming to see me and you are doing your values. And I was just in the hospital to uh, see my son and my husband. So do you think before you knew any of this work and knew about values? Oh, no, 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 no. no. It is only after I did some work with you, I attended your uh, courses, I attended your workshop, and I realized that uh, understanding other people's value is also important to you or to other people. Going about uh, according to their values and uh, understand that that is more important than to put your values on them, impose your values on them and make them, uh, you know, uh, be depressed. So I didn't even ask uh, you to come and see me. It was only when you, uh, when you finish your certification, the next day I was sent back to the home and I had proper rest in the hospital. Yeah, that brings us on to the next part of um, why you were in hospital. We looked at how that actually benefited you, didn't it? And what was the main strategy you found for being in hospital? Because that was the only time when I could rest and I needed it so much. Great. So obviously she's at home. She was much better. Great strategy for getting your rest. Yep. And thank you very much for recognizing my values. Um, and, you know, at times we kind of think, 
Sometimes we want to impose our values onto the others, but it is this kind of communication that allows people to be connected at the heart, no matter where they are. Um, my mum recognised this as something very important to me. Um, and of course, in between the courses, whenever I could go, I did. Um, but there wasn't something in the back of my head um, where my mum was, you know, uh, saying or doing anything that I should feel guilty about not being with her. And that is what happens when you communicate in other people's values. So take the time to find out your loved one's values and priorities so that you can have this type of open communication and live in a caring relationship, not a careless one where you're imposing your values onto others. Thank you very much for joining me, Mum and for doing the very special Wisdom Wednesday. We hope you found this week's Wisdom Wednesday of value. If you did, please feel free to like, comment or share with others that you feel would find it of value too. Thank you.